The Reserve Bank of New Zealand rate decision was out last night. Paul Bloxham from HSBC in Australia joins me on the line now. Paul, can you give me a brief outline of what was said and was this expected? So the RBNZ kept their cash rate on hold, which wasn't a great surprise. It was broadly expected that they would do that. Uh, the statement was also largely as expected. They, they pointed out that the New Zealand economy is, is showing some signs of recovery. In particular, the Canterbury rebuild in the post-earthquake rebuild in Canterbury is getting going, and that's a key support for growth in, in New Zealand at the moment. The housing market is also picking up. It's actually picking up quite solidly, and that is one of the things that the RBNZ pointed out that they're, getting, they're becoming concerned about. They're concerned that house prices are rising quickly, they're running at almost double-digit rates, and they're concerned that perhaps if house prices continue to rise, that might uh, threaten financial stability. So one of the key things in the statement that was put out today was a discussion about their recent policies on loan-to-valuation restrictions. And they estimated that the policies they've put in place, these macro-prudential policies, are equivalent to around about 30 basis points of tightening of their cash rate. So those were the main things. I think the other thing that was noted was that inflation at the moment is still low. Despite the fact that the economy is picking up, inflation is still low. They expect inflation to rise over the forecast horizon, but for the moment they seem quite comfortable with their cash rate setting. What does this say about the New Zealand economy right now? It's quite a positive statement. that The New Zealand economy is, is showing signs of recovery. Uh, growth is expected to pick up. Along the way, they expect inflation to pick up, but they don't expect it to pick up particularly quickly. They uh, pulled forward their expectation for when they think they'll have to start lifting the cash rate, uh, and they pulled that forward to the middle of 2014. Um, it, it previously was further out than that, which is a positive sign. If they think that they're going to need to start to lift interest rates at some point in time and head toward, back towards neutral, it's a sign that they think the economy is normalising, although they didn't obviously lift rates today and they don't expect that it's, it's going to be, they're going to need to until, until about the middle of next year. How is this a reflection of the global economy? The, the global economy is still showing mixed signs, and that was noted by the governor uh, in terms of the statement that he provided. There are certainly uh, more signs that things are stabilising. Uh, Chinese growth is stabilising. The Japanese economy is, is lifting a bit more. And, of course, those are two key markets for New Zealand. Um, but on the, on the other side of the, the Tasman, of course, um, the Australian economy is slowing down a bit. It's tracking it a bit below trend. That's a reasonably important story for New Zealand as well, because that's actually their major trading partner. The Australia story is not as positive for, for New Zealand overall. In broad terms, I think domestic uh, conditions are the main thing that's driving uh, the expectations for policy settings at the RBNZ at the moment. In your opinion, what does this mean going forward for the next few months and the next year? We actually think that inflation will pick up a little bit faster than the RBNZ has in mind. Uh, and, and we think that the RBNZ use of loan-to-valuation ratio adjustments, restrictions on those, those lending standards, uh, perhaps won't necessarily take that much steam out of the housing market. So our view is that the combination of uh, an economy that's picking, picking up pace, inflation that we think will lift, and, and strong growth in house prices is going to mean that the RBNZ may need to lift rates a little sooner than they think. So we've got in mind that it'll, the next rate rise is probably going to come sometime around the end, around the end of this year or early next year. Uh, rather than necessarily in the middle of next year. Paul, thank you very much for joining me on the line today. And that's all we have time for for now. But do check back later for more from the TV team. Bye for now.